live in Stockholm and I want to share with you 25 things I love about living in Sweden and 5 things that I hate. If you are thinking about moving to Sweden or you live here, do comment below. I would love to know. The first thing I love about living in Sweden is that it is so clean. Stockholm city is so, so clean. People literally go around and clean the city. So it's just always nice to be there and it's a really, really nice environment. The second thing is the food variety, especially when you're food shopping. There is such a wide variety variety of foods especially if you're going to the big shops like Ica, Villies but even like Coop and things like that if you are plant-based as well then it's amazing the variety you can have and even if you're not then there's even more variety so I feel very very privileged to be living in a country that, which has such a variation of really good food number three is brunch places I made a video all about my favorite brunch places here in Stockholm and that is something that I absolutely love about Sweden so so much there are so many incredible brunch places serving amazing amazing brunch number four the wellness market the wellness niche here in sweden it's very holistic and spiritual and it's all about wellness i mean not all about wellness there are a lot of wellness brands based and they have been founded in sweden it's a very wellness based kind of country and i really really like that now i am just eating as well so i have ketchup but also i'm going to touch on the fact that i prefer heinz ketchup over felix Felix is a ketchup brand here in Sweden. I think it's Swedish, um, but I'm not a total fan. Maybe it's the British in me, but I prefer Heinz. Okay, number five is Södermalm. Need I say more? If you have been to Södermalm here in Sweden, in Stockholm, then you will understand why I love Södermalm. It's such an amazing area with lots of different people and lots of really cute cafes and cool bars and it's just a bit a bit different rather than staying in the center of stockholm slash sweden so if you are coming to stockholm for a holiday even go to Söder Malm. i feel like it's so underrated but it's like my favorite place number six what is this number six swedish summer swedish summer is beautiful and the amazing thing is, is that when you have friends in Sweden in the Swedish summer, they usually all end up kind of doing their own thing and going to see family. And like, you don't see many of them. But that's the beauty of Swedish summer. Like, it's so beautiful and everyone tries to make the most of it as much as they possibly can. It's short. Like, it's short and sweet. But if you make the most of a Swedish summer, then it is truly so so amazing which also relates to my next point which is swimming in the city when it's summer in sweden you can literally swim in the city there are so many lakes in stockholm and there are so many beautiful places to swim and that is one of my favorite activities to do in sweden in the summer and this was just so different to being back in the uk where you couldn't really swim many places or there wasn't many nice places to swim to swim that were really close by but in sweden in the whole of Sweden and specifically in Stockholm there are always swimming places super nearby. Number nine is Swedish passport photos. I know this is really random but Swedish passport photos always make you look so good because they're black and white. I think that's the trick. You know an extra boost of confidence why not usually passport photos are really really shocking but swedish passport photos actually make you look good my number 10 is internationals sweden is a very international like well not very but it's quite international especially stockholm and i love that about sweden that there are lots of international people here a lot of the people that i'm friends with weren't actually born and raised in sweden but they have actually moved to Sweden from other countries and I really, really love that because something that I love to be surrounded by is people who may have travelled or may have been to other places, people who are like me who have moved away from home and I really resonate with those people the most so that is something that I also really love about living here. The 11th thing I love about living in Sweden is the gyms. I am actually part of the part of it. I'm a member of the gym called Sats which is located like all around Stockholm. There are so many of them which is also really really handy but I love this gym so much. I just I really do. Some of the layouts of them are like not the best but the one near where I live I truly I really like it and they're everywhere and you can take your shoes off and it's not weird and they have saunas and I just I love the gym. 
Number 12, nature. You might have heard this a lot if you know people who live especially in Stockholm and in Sweden just saying that the nature is amazing and it's always so close by. So again, with swimming in the summer and doing outdoor activities, it's really, really easy to do that. And going for walks in the evening is something I really, really enjoy doing. It's super easy and it's, not, and it's easy to find a nice location to do that in. There's always something nearby. Number 13 is 6am. If you go into Stockholm city at 6am, during autumn time it's so beautiful it's so quiet and usually the sun is like just rising and I have a love for that time in the morning and the only reason that I'm in the city at 6 a.m in the morning is when I'm starting work at 7 a.m but when I do that it makes it so much easier because it just looks so pretty Number 14 is ice skating. In the winter, you can go ice skating on real frozen lakes and I cannot wait to do that this year. Number 15 is that it's in Europe. So geographically, Sweden is a really, really handy place to live because it's in the EU and I'm so annoyed about the UK leaving the EU, but obviously what can I do? I mean, I don't let it affect me too much, but Sweden is in Europe. It's in the EU and it's in a great location so that you can easily go to places like Copenhagen, Germany, Finland and the UK, you can easily travel to all of these places, which I find is really, really handy. Sistian Belaget is my next one. I actually kind of like it. It's a shop. You might already know, but it's an alcohol shop. So it's a shop specifically for alcohol. It's closed on Sundays and it closes at like three on Saturdays, but it's open during the week. And I think it's a really good idea in order to regulate alcohol consumption. So you can't buy strong alcohol in the typical food shops. So we have a specific alcohol shop for it. And I just think I kind of like that. Number 17 is Canel Bulla. I mean, can you blame me if you haven't had them? then you need to have them. They remind me of my childhood and I just love them so, so much. So that's number 17. Number 18 is that there's no drama. I feel very extremely privileged to live in Sweden. I have to put that out there. I'm very grateful and I'm very privileged that Sweden is such a high class country, I guess, where there is no political drama. So, that's also something I love and I'm very grateful for. Number 19 is Jonna Yinton. If you watch a lot of content based around Sweden, then you will probably know who Jonna Yinton is. And I love her. And that's one of the reasons why I love Sweden because I love Jonna Yinton. Her content is so beautiful. So if you haven't like seen her or heard of her, then you really, really need to. Number 20, the guys here. Oh, I'm joking. I really don't have enough experience with Swedish guys. Um, so I can't really say. Number 21 is the safety. I think Sweden is a really safe country. You can go for walks in the evening times and usually depending on your area, of course, depending on whether you are living in a safe area, but usually Sweden is really safe. And when you're walking around on your own or walking through the city, I usually feel really safe here. So I'm very grateful for that too. Number 22 has to be this brand of oat milk, which they do not do in the UK and in many countries. I don't even think they do it in Copenhagen, like in Denmark, which is crazy. Oddly good. It's such a great brand of oat milk. And this is just one reason why I love Sweden. They just have great brands. The 23rd reason I love living in Sweden is the fact that everyone has a summer house here and that is so normal. And I freaking love summer houses. I am very lucky that my family also have a summer house here, but I love how normal it is to just have a summer house in this country. Like everyone in the summer usually goes to their summer house with their family and that's just really cute. Number 24 has to be midsummer, of course. If you don't know what midsummer is, then definitely research it. It's a very, very big Swedish holiday, which happens in the summer in June time. I think it's June 21st or 22nd. I think it's 21st and it's just an incredible Swedish tradition that people have here and I just think it's so beautiful and it just brings people together and I had my first midsummer this year and I will now aim to never miss a midsummer again in my life and I think I'm on number 25 now but I also think that was only 24 and I actually think I missed one of my points 
Um, but 25 is the Swedish traditions. So, for example, Midsummer is a huge Swedish tradition. We also have Semla Dog, which is like these special buns and they have a day dedicated to them. To them. And for example, tomorrow is Apple Day. There's a day for apples. And in the cafe that I work in, we're making like apple muffins. And I just think the Swedish traditions here are really, really cute, like crayfish parties in the summer, all of these things that Swedish people seem to take really seriously. Now onto the five things that I hate about Sweden. Okay, number one has to be the housing situation. The housing situation, especially here in Stockholm, is absolutely shocking. It's so hard to find a house to either buy or to find an apartment slash house to rent or to even rent a room this is so difficult and especially to find one at a good price if you don't necessarily have connections here and have friends and family here who can help you so i am actually moving out of the room that i rent right now but it was quite stressful trying to find a new room to rent which wasn't ridiculously overpriced and was in a good location with someone who you know was nice to live with and everything so i actually was really lucky to have a family friend help me find a place and now i'm moving out next week really excited but the housing situation here is quite a shambles and i just think it's pretty shocking and hard to find a place to live although i have had friends that have been lucky and they have found places to live in quite a short space of time and they are renting a room and they really like it so i think it's just all about being really really on it and you have to put a lot of time into finding a good place to live to rent to buy either of those things and i am gonna say that i hate how high the taxes are i know some of you guys are gonna say i'm ungrateful because the taxes because I, ha I have such a good life here and sweden is absolutely an amazing place to live and believe me i know that but i do think the taxes are high okay like i work part-time in a cafe as well as running my own business and almost half of that money is gone to taxes which is like a hard pill to swallow although i am grateful to live here but yeah, I just have to put it out there. The taxes are super high and I hate it. Also, I like to think that my taxes go towards things like public transport and, you know, healthcare and all of these things when really, do any of us actually know where our taxes are going? Because to be honest, I don't, and I don't think it's the things that I wish they were going to. Another thing that I kind of hate, but I also love and hate is the independence that Swedish people have. I feel like everyone feels like they can do everything on their own. Everyone wants to, wants to live on their own and do their own thing. And sometimes I think it's kind of sad, even though I am very much like that as well. I think I've been sucked into that kind of way of living. But at the end of the day, what we really need is community and friendships and family and we need to be surrounded by love and joy. And that is something that I really get from my part-time job. And sometimes I think Swedish people don't necessarily understand that or maybe they lack that and but without even realizing like a lot of people live on their own and although a goal of mine is to live on my own, it just seems like a lot of people here are very independent and yeah i i love and i hate that and i also think hmm what's the deal what's the deal with that like why why is that a thing if i really really think about it i'm like is it because they want more is it because they like being alone or is it because they can never settle for one thing because they keep moving around or like with different people i don't know i don't know there must be some kind of statistic out there i bet there is actually if i did some research i hate how difficult it can be to become a swedish citizen and get a personal number this is not on my behalf but this is on my friend's behalf i have some very close friends who have found it really really hard to become a swedish citizen even um though they live here and work here and pay tax here and all of those things sometimes it can be really difficult to get a personal number and i really wish it was a little bit easier to sign up to have residency in sweden slash to be a swedish citizen yeah, I wish they just made it easier, but obviously they have their rules and regulations, I don't know, but I kind of hate that. And on a pretty serious note, I do hate how popular rape is here and gangs and things like that. Although I said that Sweden is a very safe country and I do believe that, I do hate that rape and crime in those areas can be really really high here in Sweden. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It might be because prison time isn't very long and prison is actually quite a nice experience in this country 
it's pretty crazy to me. But that makes me sad and that's something that Sweden really, really needs to work on. But wow, I think we went so negative towards the end of this video. But I'm gonna end it here. So those were 25 things I love about living in Sweden and five things that I hate. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I make content all around living in Sweden and Stockholm and then content all around building a personal brand and influencer marketing as that is what I also do as well as living my life here in Sweden. So I would really, really appreciate your subscription subscription that makes sense i think and do let me know if you're living in sweden or if you're thinking about it or if you have lived in sweden your situation let me know in the comments and let's chat so i will see you in the next video have a beautiful day week month life bye